Hello, hello, sons and daughters of the Most High God. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Rachel and I'm from Receive the King Ministries. And I just wanted to come on here to just praise the Lord, to just praise him, praise him, praise him. To, we give you all the glory and all the honor. It says, how happy are those whose way of life is blameless. Thank you, Jesus, Yeshua, our Messiah for making our ways blameless that we have the righteousness of God when we receive you as our king and our lord of our lives that your righteousness becomes what is applied to us that we can have the holy spirit who, so that we can live by the torah the laws the word of god of adonai amen that we have the word of god of adonai that we can live by your laws. We are so happy because our way of life is blameless in the sight of our God and that we live by the love and the life of Yeshua and the word of God. I just thank you that you are opening up your word to your people, God. I thank you that you're opening up their eyes and their ears, that you have done that for me. And I thank you, God. I praise you. I worship you today. I I just love to see you high and lifted up and exalted in this day, in this day. How happy are those who observe his instruction, who seek him wholeheartedly. God is giving you guys supernatural instruction in this hour. I keep seeing one, two, three, four. I keep seeing that one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I've been seeing that over and over. And whenever God says that to me, it's like he's saying everything is aligned. Everything is lining up. Everything is all lining up for you. And that's what he's saying. It's just he is giving you this um, the the instructions, the very specific instructions that he's giving you for his for for your life and for victory and through him. So he gives that to you and because you're seeking him wholeheartedly. We're just so happy because we observe your instructions and we seek you wholeheartedly. I thank you that we are, that you have caused us, the Holy Spirit in us has caused us to seek you and to find you and to um, just go after you, Lord. And we just thank you for that. They, We do nothing wrong through Yeshua, that you are turning everything together for our good, that you vindicate us, you overcome every situation, even when things are, um, that you have, you have um, freed us, that you have saved us from that accuser, that accuser that accuses the brethren day and night. Man, we just thank you that you, Yeshua, have saved us and that we do nothing wrong but live by your ways, God. We thank you that you've caused us to live by your ways and that our ways, we continue to work our work out our sanctification and our salvation with fear and trembling by reading your word and coming to, work, to you in everything we do. Our ways are steady. Thank you, God, that you made, made our ways steady. Lord, I thank you that you're doing that right now, that you've steadied us, you've sturdied us in this hour in observing your laws That we, as we continue to look in your word and to continue to follow you, to follow your ways. It says, turn from your sin to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. That is all we do. We just turn from our sin to God, that we can observe your laws, that we then you say we are will not be put to shame and i thank you that you are vindicating your people in this hour that they are being they are being shown that you do not put them to shame though in for a season the um, the enemy may have come against you that you will not ultimately be put to shame because of the 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 because of what yeshua did on the cross that he despised the shame that that even though in that season for a season you know the enemy may have set you up and that it seemed like you were going to be put to shame. God is saying that he has, you will not be, and you are not put to shame. And he says, since I will have fixed my sight on all your mitzvot, your, your, your precepts, your, your rules, your instructions, not just the laws, but the rules, all the things that are in your word, God, we fix our eyes. We thank you that you fixed our eyes. You open our eyes. You've given us ears to hear and eyes to see that you've opened our eyes to fix our eyes on your word god we thank you i thank you with a sincere heart i thank you as i learn your righteous rulings i thank you for teaching us your righteous rulings we thank you that you are having righteous judgment in this season in this hour god that you have come to to teach us the righteous rulings of god that we are seeing it that you we observe your laws and and 
you do not abandon us. I thank you, God, that you do not abandon us. We will observe your laws and we you give us the power of the Holy Spirit that we are able to do this and that you will never, ever, ever completely abandon us. We love you. We thank you and we praise you. We just lift you up. That is a left of 119 in Psalms. We just thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. We love you. You said, I just want to go through Dalet. God has led me to do Dalet as well. I lied and prostrate in the dust. You revived me, Lord. You have revived your children in this hour. Amen. In keeping with your word, we call on the name of God. We call on the word of God. We call on the promises of God. We Thank you that we come into agreement. We came into agreement this morning in prayer. And I thank you that you told, um, I told you of my ways and you answered me. God, you look at us, you you judge us and you answer us when we call you. you. Every time we call out to you, you answer us and you teach us your laws. You teach us your judgment. Make, you, make me understand the ways of your precepts your rules and i will meditate on your wonders god we just take this time to meditate on your wonders your ways are wonderful we thank you we praise you we worship you for every single thing you've done today everything you've done yesterday and everything you're planning to do tomorrow we thank you that our eyes are open to the wonders of god and we praise you we thank you you are so good god you are so amazing god we lift you up and we praise you you be exalted in the world amen i choose the way of trust yes yes lord it says i'm melting away from anxiety and grief renew my strength in keeping with your word some of us have been um, melting away with anxiety and grief and we just come before you even in the secret place and some of us coming it together in prayer some of us coming together lord and we just thank you that even as the the world could be shaking or things can be going you know ways that we we wonder what's going on you know we're not privy to all the things of god he says your ways are higher than our ways and our your thoughts are higher than our thoughts but i thank you that we meditate on your wonders, that we get to learn about you through these experiences, that you're teaching us through the, these experiences and through the lens of learning about who you are through your word, God. You renew our strength. You are renewing our strength in this hour. I thank you that every single one of you are receiving new strength today in keeping with your word. Amen. Renew our strength in keeping with your word. You are doing that today. I thank you that it's continuing. Keep deceitful ways far from me and favor me with your Torah. Yes, hallelujah. I thank you that you're, that all of the things that come against um the truth and everything that comes against your peace, that you keep all those things far from us, Lord, that we want to be at peace and living in the truth, Lord. We thank you that you favor us with your Torah, with all the promises that you have in our, in your word, God, that we get to just embrace every single situation through the lens of the power and the awesome perfect perfect righteousness of god the perfection of your glory we get to see that and we get to learn it through your word i choose the way of trust i choose the way of trust we just come into agreement right now i set your rulings before me thank you god for settling you are settling these you are making judgments you are proclaiming judgments and rulings in this hour i i thank you that you said i set you set your rulings before me I cling to your instructions. You make these rulings in our lives and you rule against the enemies. You rule against our enemies and you rule in our favor, Lord. We thank you, God. We cling to your instruction. Adonai, don't let me be put to shame. Again, God is saying that many of you, have, the enemy has been trying to put you to shame, but God does not put you to shame. He does not allow you, his children to be put to shame. And so he is vindicating you in this hour. He is he is ruling in your favor he says i will it says i will run the way of your mitzvah your rulings your 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 word your um your precepts your 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 everything that you say your word god for you have broadened my understanding Thank you, God, for continuing to teach us to overwhelm us with your love and your mercy and your mercies are new every morning. We love you. We thank you. We praise you, God. Be lifted up. Be high and lifted up. We love you and we are so happy because of you, God. Your rule, your your rulings in this hour and your um, 
your law and your, your word, God. We are so happy because of your word, because of your righteous judgment, because of your righteous ways. We love you. We thank you. Thank you for everything you're doing for us. We love you and we praise you. In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Bye.